Blog Talk Radio. All matter is merely energy condensed to a slow vibration. We are all one consciousness experiencing itself subjectively. There is no such thing as death. Life is only a dream. And we are the imagination of ourselves. So would you say that uh, imagination is key then? It is. I Magi Nation. <laughs> you are a nation of magicians. <laughs> Imagination is your connection to the dimension itself that touches all other realities. That's what it's for. You're listening to Project Information Generation Radio with me, your host, I Dare You to Think, also known as Jeremiah Duncan. I will be with you for the next hour live and a second hour of archived information saturation with Jeff Harvey will also be available. This show will be also posted on YouTube as well as uh, being archived. My co-host Richard Rao usually gets the uh, YouTube up the night of the show. So for those of you who are interested in that, please check out our YouTube channel. Now, every week I attempt to bring you a special story or someone profound with information that may help each and every one of you out there in your search for answers. This week will be no different. Not only will we discuss Jeff Harvey's story, but also technology and medical information that is available to you. After having uh, super soldiers like Aaron McCollum on the show and uh, MK Ultra and Black Ops survivor Dave Corso, tonight's show is also under the umbrella of information that we've covered as we have many whistleblowers coming on and sharing with us. Just know the risks they are taking when they speak out about these sensitive subjects. You know, when Creditable people with outstanding credentials share this knowledge and this information. You know, you can take it to the bank. You know, blowing the whistle and telling the truth about what's really going on inside the matrix of our lives is something that we all continue to share on pig radio. We have no limits when it comes to deprogramming and attempting to understand what we need to do in order to help ourselves and humanity. Uh, Please welcome a technologist, a practitioner, working with emerging technologies in the healing field, as well as someone who's spent six years in the U.S. Navy electronics assigned to the USS John F. Kennedy and Intelligence Center. He has years in experience in industrial infrared moisture detection, and also has 10 plus years of health research. Get ready for information saturation with Jeff Harvey. Thank you, Jeff, for taking time out of your life to uh, join us in our quest for seeking the truth tonight. My pleasure. You've got some great folks you've had on. By the way, I love your imagination. Uh, blurb at the beginning. That's awesome. Well, I just like people to know that they are in more control of of what's happening in their lives than they think. A lot of people, you know, stop or give up at the Alex Jones level or at the level of, you know, fear where all of this is going on around us and there's nothing we can do about it. I agree. If people only knew just how powerful their conscious and subconscious was, and what their nervous system was actually for, um, you'd see almost no one caving to anyone out there because they'd realize just how powerful they were, especially when we joined together in couple. Yeah, 
uh, we talked about that earlier today. You know, the, the truth, what people need to understand, I mean, people have said it before, the truth is stranger than fiction, and that's what we're going to talk about here tonight. Uh, if you want to just go ahead with a little bio of about who you are and how you got into what you're doing. Well, I'm no different than most kids that grew up in a small town. I spent most of my days doing all the fun stuff, romping down by the creek, uh, fishing in the river, um, taking my 22 out and shooting and having a good time and, you know, just basically enjoying nature. My favorite times were spent in the woods. That's where I get the most peace. And it turns out later on there's reasons for that. But uh, when I was really little, I don't know, five, six, whatever, um, some really strange things happened to me. And I really wish I knew the whole answer to all of it. And I don't yet, but uh, with a few more regressions, I'm sure I'll get into the rest of it. But later on, my dad um, used to work in construction after he left Sikorsky helicopter. When he worked at Sikorsky, they'd send him home at the end of the evening with a problem to solve. And he'd go to sleep, wake up, and have the problem solved. Well, something shifted in me recently, and that started happening a couple of years ago. And now uh, it's happening an awful lot. But one of the things he started teaching me was, is uh, he said, look, if you can't control your body, um, how do you expect to play with your mind? And I said, well, I don't understand what you mean, Dad. And he says, well, try this. So he flattened out like a board laying down on the floor, and he basically tensed every muscle from the toe to the top of his head in a row, and he did it slowly. And then he had us pick him up from his neck and his heels and place him between two chairs, flat as a board, between those two chairs, just hanging from his heels and hanging from the back of his neck. And you can do that for a very, 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 very long period of time because what you're doing is basically putting yourself into a semi-trance state and allowing your conscious and unconscious minds to gang up on your body and tell it to do anything you need to. Now, let's be clear, there are penalties to be paid if you play with that in the wrong way and stress the muscles and uh, the bones and tendons too much. But in times of crisis or in times when you need it to happen, uh, the human body, as you've heard from Aaron and others, can do some unbelievably interesting things, like run up the side of a wall, get to the corner of the top of the wall between the two walls, and position the body so that your hands and feet are positioned in different places, and you just simply shift your weight back and forth, and you can stick there for a very long time, shifting the weight back and forth. And things like that were done by people in the operations groups who were extremely good at their jobs. So Dad taught me a couple of these fun little things when I was a boy, and I don't know why he taught me, but it seemed to have kicked off some fun things, because after that I started having interesting experiences, and some were pretty anomalous and some were average. But somehow the connection and the psyche began to grow, and things happened as I went through high school that reinforced that. Um, we would go to a local uh, restaurant when we were in the early years of high school with a couple of folks, and we would uh, sit down and talk about the fun things we read in the newspapers and science things. And I talked to them about what you could use your brain for. And they said, well, what can you do? And I said, well, if you want, I can give you a headache. How's that? And they said, absolutely not. You couldn't do that. So... I proceeded to do it in about 30 seconds till the person said, stop, don't do that anymore. And I asked them, I said, why? And they said, well, because it hurts. And I said, okay, do you want me to take the pain away? And they said, of course. So I did. So there are things you can do with your mind and your body <clears throat> because your body couples every time you're near someone, you couple with them on several different manners. Let's take one, for instance. When you look at somebody's eyes, you're actually coupling with their systems. Their ears put out sounds as well as hearing sounds. And if you want proof of that, simply go to Johns Hopkins University and look up autoacoustic emissions. Um, your nervous systems couple, and they couple on many different levels. So does the heart. They only recently found out the heart has brain cells in it. 
So there's many, many things that you couple with when you talk to people. You can even do it long distance across the globe. 